Yo, 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 welcome back to the Barkata channel. It's your boy, Dirty Work in the building. What is up, everybody? Hopefully you're having a great day, a beautiful and blessed day. Today we have something spectacular for you today. Uh, it's Dua Lipa and her Tiny Desk performance. I will be, uh, you know, giving a little bit more insight of uh, vocal technique and vocal production. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling gravy right now, baby. I hope y'all feeling the same. So, let's get into it. Peace. If you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I can take you for a ride. I had a premonition that we fell into a rhythm where the music don't stop for life. Glitter in the sky, glitter in my eyes, shining just the way I like. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. All night, I need you. All night, come on, dance with me. I'm levitating you. First off. I'm, I'm uh, checking the shape of her uh, shape of her vowels first and foremost, right? She's doing um, she's actually keeping her tongue in the back very 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 flat, and I kind of and I really like the way she's switching between her um, between her natural and going into her falsetto. She's like she's like pushing right up to her break and then letting that air through, right? Letting that air through. It's it's pretty tight. I like that. I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I really like the uh, the the bottom of her voice, right? It's kind of a kind of a buzzy almost nasally but she's like sitting right in the middle of her uh, laryngeal position Moonlight, you're my starlight. I need you all night come on dance with me don't mind you want me I want you baby my sugar boo I'm levitating the Milky Way we're renegading yeah yeah So if you notice, as she sings, everything is very spread. So when you so when you're watching people sing and they're like smiling, that's because they're actually centering their pitch, right? So most of the time, when people are, when they make when they make uh, big like big faces, you watch their eyebrow raise, right? The tone is a little a little bit darker, right? But when you see them kind of smiling the whole time when they're singing, like you notice that it, it sounds it sounds bright and they're pushing more towards the mask and it's and the, it's actually centering the pitch. Making sure that you're right on because in this there is no auto tune, so you have to be, <laughs> so you have to be <laughs> in key. All right. Moonlight, you're my starlight. I need you all night. Come on, dance with me. On another note, I really like this record. It's, uh, you know what I'm saying, it's got that 70s vibe, you know? It's, it's just got that swing to it. It's got that, uh, you know, that bounce rock roller skate vibe to it. I really dig it. I want you, baby, my sugar boo. I'm levitating, the Milky Way, we're renegating. I got you, moonlight, you're my starlight, I need you, all night, come on dance with me, I'm levitating you, moonlight, you're my starlight, I need you, all night, come on dance with me, I'm levitating. <laughs> oh, stank face on that one, mm, I like that. So, another thing I want to point out as well, uh, not only her, but her background singers. So when you're so for people who do sing, um, when you're a background singer, you're not necessarily trying to overpower, uh, overpower the uh, the lead singer. So you have to make sure that your vowel shaping matches the lead singer. So therefore, you can blend and become one voice, right? And that also has a lot, that also has a lot to do with uh, microphone positioning and you know how far away you, well, your proximity from the microphone, things of that nature. But when you're singing live, or if you're singing, let's say, uh, an acapella. Right, you want to make sure that everyone is using the same vowel shaping, and is using the um, and is using the same part of their uh, same part of their voice. So, so if one person is singing throaty and the other person is singing more of a more of a forward, it's not going to blend. So everybody needs to have that understanding of how to sing with each other and without trying to overpower the next person. So, actually, singing in a group is actually a little bit harder than singing as an individual sometimes because you because you have to be completely aware of everyone else that's around you, right? And making sure that you're blending in as opposed to standing out like a sore thumb. But this performance so far, 
I'm digging it. Somewhere in the middle, I think I lied a little. I, I said if we took it there, I wasn't gonna change. But that went out the window, yeah. So a second ago, she actually did something that's kind of cool, right? So she started out almost going a little throaty just to kind of make it sound a little bit darker. And then the second she switched into the, um, to the pre-chorus of the song, she got she got brighter again right so that's that effect i was talking uh, that's the effect that i'm talking about where you're able to um match the tone of the record so as a so as a song gets brighter or a song starts to build you 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 want to get brighter you want to build as well because i miss you and i need your love when my mind is running wild could you help me yeah. underneath your body yeah if we take it further, I swear I ain't gonna break. So baby, come try me. Baby, come find me. Baby, don't wind me up. I know that I seem a little stressed out, but you're here now, and I need your love. But my mind is running wild, could you help me slow it down? Put my mind at ease. Pretty please. I right, so. Right out of the right out of the pre-chorus, going into the chorus from from light to dark, right? So she switches from that from that uh, from that facial range into like just a little bit more towards the throat to make it sound nice and round and nice and dark at the bottom. I really like it. I'm really I'm really interested to see what she can do, like as far as taking her uh, as far as going up a little bit higher, but that's smart on her part. So as an artist, you want to make sure that the that the songs that you're singing are actually written in the keys that you work best in, right? So a lot of people, so a lot of singers uh, who are new, who come into the studio trying to sing, sing specific songs, you need to make sure that that song is in the key that you're comfortable in, right? You don't have to, you don't have to show off, right? Find the key that works for you. If the key doesn't work for you, then find a key that does work for you, so therefore you can shine the brightest. So, so the problem with a lot of um, the problem with a lot of uh, singers who come into the studio and try to just sing these songs, they don't they don't think about that. So, um, as a or, or male or female, so as a female, if you wanted to get a wedding dress, you don't go in and just buy the wedding dress, put it on and walk out. No, you walk in, get the wedding dress, get it tailor fitted, and then you walk out, right? So for males, you, you want to buy a suit, you don't you don't walk in and buy a suit. You walk in, get it tailor fitted, and then you walk out. So always make sure that that um, that the key of the song matches your range, right? If you're not a high singer, then don't choose a then don't choose a key that's too high for you. If you're if you if you're not a low singer, then don't choose a key that's too low for you. All right. So just a little tip there. I need your hands on me. Sweet relief, pretty. Put my mind at ease. Trickle down my spine. Oh, you look so pretty, please. Every single night, I need your hands on me. When your kiss is kind, oh, you give me sweet relief. Make me feel so pretty. Would you help me out, please? Would you help me out, please? 
you know what? I'm figuring this whole thing out. Like, she's she's actually really, really dope. Her team is actually really, really good. So, and, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you what the secret is. That her range is not, like, as, as far as what I'm seeing, isn't really that big. But what she does with it is the thing. She she sang that whole song within maybe within maybe an octave. She didn't have to go anywhere, but the song felt like it went somewhere, right? And that's another thing I want to you know kind of give it up to the Brits. You know what I'm saying? And the English people like you guys are really really dope with this because like you guys are the only ones that I feel personally. That this is just my opinion, so please leave your comments <laughs> down below, right? That have really stuck with soul like soul music and and funk music right being able to really capture that essence uh, essence and capture that vibe and kind of and, and kind of like really harness it and bring it into the future right as american producers we kind of push for the next and for the next and for the next and for the next but um for 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 that side for the other side of the pond you guys have really stepped into and been able to uh capture you know that soul in that funk in that funk and really usher that into a new place in the future and i really 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 appreciate that it's just this is definitely always for me a breath of fresh air you know um so y'all keep doing y'all thing man because you guys are awesome and this and she's killing it right now she's super killing it i i kind of like you do it you know what i'm saying i like you girl i love that accent never thought i'd hear my heart beat so loud can't believe there's something left in my chest anymore But God damn, you got me in love again I used to think that I was made out of stone I used to spend so many nights on my own I never knew I had it in me to dance anymore But God damn, you got me in love again Show me that heaven's right here, baby. So right there, I really appreciate, or, or I really uh, dig how she's uh, using her, um, using the consonants like the, like the, uh, like the G's in her T's to actually reconnect her vocal cords, right? That got, uh, 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 right? Like, I really, really like that because that's helping her to, like I said, um, to produce more sound but use less air and not have to work as hard so when you're doing sets for a very long time like you know 35 minutes 45 minutes or sometimes three 45 minute sets um, you have to preserve <laughs> what's going on in your instrument so she's actually not over not overworking it she's singing effortlessly because she doesn't have to do much right but she's still she's still able to get the point across and that's how that's how you kind of keep your instrument, right? Because vocal, I'm very big on vocal health and I'm very big on not overdoing it and not pushing it. But she's actually giving just enough to where she can probably sing for another two or three hours and still be fine. Rather die than have to live in a storm like before. But God damn, you got me in love again. Show me the heavens right here, baby. Touch me so I know I'm not crazy Never have I ever met somebody like you Used to be afraid of love and what it might do But God damn, you've got me in love again So on that part I really couldn't hear um, you know, as she was going up, because her sound people are doing a very, very, very good job at uh, blending everybody in when the when the chorus comes in. So we'll see as this performance goes on if she can act where she actually takes it, right? Because she is singing live. So and this is the test, right? This is the test to see exactly what happens, right? So I'm very interested to see. So you guys stay tuned because I'm, I'm I'm pins and needles right now. You've got me in love again. You've got me in love.
You see what I mean? She could have taken it up, but she kept it right there, and you still felt the same energy. You know, that's called emoting. She got it. Love it. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right, so as she's going up, I can tell that there's a little bit of disconnect. She's, she's letting a little bit more air through as she gets, um, gets up a little bit higher to kind of stay, uh, to make sure that the tone doesn't sound too nasally, right? Because when you're up, when you're up there and you are fully connected, sometimes you can push a little bit uh, too forward uh, to the mask and sometimes out of the nose, but that was perfect. And then she reached for that, she reached for that high note and she just kind of like, you know what, I'm gonna do this, but I'm not really gonna do this. So you, she touched the note and it came right back down and it was beautiful. I love how she switches from throat to um, throat to um, like a middle um, a middle uh, laryngeal position. I love how she comes from from light to dark. She just switches right back and forth, and it's like effortlessly. Sometimes when she does do that, you can kind of hear the air coming through, and you hear like this little squeak in her voice as she's coming through. But that's more of a stylistic thing. But that's like it, it's it's not exactly easy for people to do that. But she's pretty much mastered it. Um, I would hope that she would possibly fix one of those things as she goes through her career because sometimes those could cause vocal vocal issues but she's she's doing it and she's obviously stuck with it for a long time so i don't think i don't think there should be any problems with that but good job so I feel I'm better on the other side. Dope harmony. I love harmonies. That was a dope harmony. And dope blend. Love it. If you don't want to see me dancing with somebody, I care in about me now. Hey! What, what? Ow, ow. What, what? Don't stop now. What, what? I'm not bad. You left me at all. Hey! Don't show up. I love the way she uses, for this song, she's using bigger vowels, right? The ow, uh, uh, like the under, like the, the, uh, the under part of the, uh, the vowel, right? Which has a lot to do with the accent, but, but yeah, so uh, it's, it's dope. I just, I just love the way, I love, I love the texture of her voice too. So um, as, as a singer, as a uh, live singer or a recording artist, singing live is a lot different than singing um, than singing in the studio because there's a lot more you can do in the studio. You can change the tone. You can change the tone of your voice to to blend with other parts of your voice when stacking vocals, things of that nature. But when singing live, that's when the that's when the the rawness comes out. And she has this really dope and really warm tone that I that I think personally prints well and actually sounds good live. So what I mean by printing is recording. She records well because not every great singer actually sounds good recording. Or, sorry, I should say, not every great live singer sounds good recording, and not every good recording artist sounds good live, right? But it's very rare that you can find people who sound exactly the way they do on their records live, and that is, and that is a feat in itself. So, yeah, kudos to you, girl. You're doing your thing. I like you. Strange, yeah. strange, love it. 
All right, folks, that's it for today. It's your boy, Dirty Work, in the building. I just want to say thank you so very much for all the views, all the love, and uh, thank you for supporting the channel. If you have not yet, please like and subscribe. Hit that button at the bottom, the little bell, the bing, 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 to notify us, you know, all that stuff. Leave some comments. Let me know what you thought, you know. And uh, like I said, it's your boy, Dirty Work, and your boy, Mark Lawrence wherever he is oh there he is haha -ha, my man 50 grand we'll talk about yeah yes he's still here he's still here yeah so uh we will um we'll catch you on the next one we'll probably see you probably tomorrow deuces